So again, good day, grade 8 Makati Science High School students. Let's try a third problem. We have here Emily, a future civil engineer, would like to create a cone-shaped dam for her capstone project for her course. So water was being poured into the dam that she created at a rate of 2,400 uh, cubic meters per minute. If the radius of the base of the conical dam is 90 meters, and the length of the lateral edge is 150 meters. So this is the this is the base of the dam, and its radius is 90 meters, and the length of the lateral edge of this part here. So that's 150. Okay. So to the nearest to the nearest minute, to the nearest nearest min minute, how long will it take to fill up the empty conical dam? Given that we have here this rate. Of, uh, of the water being poured into the dam so for this problem of course we can use the volume we can use the formula for uh, we can use the uh, formula for finding the volume of a cone and we know that the formula for finding the volume of a cone is equal to one third pi r squared h where v is the volume pi is equal to 3.14 as we all know okay an, an estimate for pi then we have r, the radius, which is given in this problem, and the height. Okay, so for this problem, uh, dear students, the height is missing. So how can we get the value of the height if we know that we have here a right triangle connecting the lateral edge and the radius together? Okay, so and this, at this part, we can find the height. Okay, so if this is a right angle, so therefore this must be the hypotenuse of our right angle. And this must be one of the side measurements. So therefore using the Pythagorean theorem, we can say that a squared is equal to plus b squared is equal to c squared. And then we can write here that 90 squared plus b squared is going to be equal to 150 squared. And then we can transfer the 90 squared on the other side. So that should give us... So what's 150 squared minus 90 squared? 150 squared minus 90 squared. So that should give us 14,400. And then if we take the square root of both sides, that should give us 120. Okay, so therefore, therefore, what's the height of this figure? So it's equal to 120 cm. So therefore, that's 120 cm. Okay, since we found the value of the height, so b is equal to h, this is the height. So we can now solve for the volume of this tank, of this conical tank. So that's gonna give us one third pi, okay, one third pi times 90 squared multiplied by the height, which is one, 120. And what's 90 squared? So that's gonna give us 8,100 squared 8100 and then what's 8100 times 120 so that's 972000 972000 972000 divided by 972000 so yeah there's there was another zero divided by 3 and then multiplied by pi and what's 972000 divided by 3 it should give us 324000 so 324,000 pi. So therefore, this is the entire volume of our tank, 324,000 pi cubic meters. So therefore, if the volume of the tank is equal to 324,000 pi cubic meters, and it's being filled at a rate of 2,400 cubic meters per minute, so how many minutes that's the question here how many minutes or to the nearest minute how long will it take to fill up the empty conical dam so therefore what we can do we can divide 324,000 pi cubic meters by the rate at which the tank is being filled with water so that's 2400 cubic meters uh, per minute so what we can do here the cubic meters here they're gonna cancel and we're gonna be left with the minute okay we're gonna be left with the minute unit here 
So what's 324,000 pi? 324,000 Okay, 324,000 pi divided by 2,400 That should give us 135 pi Okay, so 135 pi Okay, minutes Or if we're gonna use decimal on that So that should give us 424 424.12 uh, minutes and if we really want to be if we really want to be uh, exact or precise on that we can uh, minus 424 okay from 424.12 we can minus 400 we can subtract 424 from 424.12 so that's gonna leave us with of course 0.12 so that's just gonna leave us with 0.12 and we can multiply that by 60 for 60 seconds. So therefore, exactly, it should take us 424 minutes and 7 seconds to fill, to fill this entire conical shape dam for Emily. Okay, so the precise minute for that is 424 minutes and 7 seconds. And that's how we solved it.